So, good afternoon. How do you like conference? <laughs> yes, exactly. They are great. <laughs> so, my name is Josef Mlich, and I would like to tell you something about project project I'm working on. The project is called Nemo Mobile, <laughs> and. Uh, this is some contacts on me. If you are interested, we can have some chat. Uh, I have same Telegram as, as Twitter, so so you can contact me also on, on Telegram. And ne let's look on, on Nemo Mobile. So, uh, what is it? Nemo Mobile is mobile operating system. It is based on Qt. Uh, currently, we are using Qt 5.15. Uh, we are working on migration to, to Qt 6. Uh, we are still using Qt, Qt Quick Controls uh, 1. We need to migrate to Qt Quick Control 2, obviously. Uh, the operating system is based on Manjaro. It has about 20 apps uh, and uh, like 130 other packages. Uh, the other packages are going from Migo, from Sailfish OS. Uh, um, it is Conman, Ofono, Geoclue, and others. Uh, yeah, and uh, uh, yeah, the question is why we are trying to do that. So there are plenty of alternatives like Fosh and Plasma Mobile. Uh, yeah, but I like simply the, the Sailfish OS idea, but they are closed source and I like open source and I can learn something. So that's that's the reason we are doing that. Uh, you can run uh, Nemo Mobile on few devices. Currently, I'm using only PinePhone. Uh, we had some some proof of concepts with PinePhone Pro, but I don't have a device, so I I can show you. Uh, well, are you interested? I can send the device on to audience. So if you if you want, you can send it around. Uh, I run it on the Qt Pi tablet, which is uh, on the on the Ubuntu stand today. So it is great device, great open hardware. Uh, so I tried to make image for that, and yeah, it was working some somehow. It needs some love yet, uh, and I developed that in in KVM uh, because it's it's like uncomfortable to work with phone all the time. Uh, we have also some Halium ports. It means you can run it on Android device. Uh, I've seen port uh, on, uh, con code name is Sargo, I'm not sure, Google Pixel. Uh, I run it also on, on the Vola phone I have, but currently I'm using Ubuntu Touch on that. Uh, and there are other device which can be used, uh, which are supported by Manjaro itself. Uh, so I believe most of things will be working somehow, uh, but you have to check it yourself. I don't have device, so I can try it. I cannot try it. So I had some demo with KVM, but let's skip it, or, or we will see after after all how how time how much time we have. Uh, what is current status of the device? Um, I would say it's bad. <laughs> uh, we can make phone calls, but we don't have voice. <laughs> so you have to switch Pulse Audio Profile, and you have to do it manually. And after that, it works. So it's not comfortable. So we have to fix it. It's like big bug. Uh, but it boots into UI at least. It's great. Uh, we have on-screen keyboard Mallet, so we have own plugin, not not the standard one, so it fits into our uh, UI. Wi-Fi works, USB works, so you can connect to device and debug your application. That's great. Uh, you can use terminal, you can use Pacman, install something, for example, megapixels, which is uh, Fosh application or like camera application, which is. Uh, adjusted for for PinePhone camera specifically, but it is in GTK, so it doesn't fit into user experience really. 
uh, and we have to try uh, lip camera, but I think uh, Manjaro have currently old kernel, or, or I don't know, it, it wasn't working so far. I have to, I have to check why. Um, so, what do we want to do with, with system? Uh, we want to fix, <laughs> we want to fix bugs, obviously. <laughs> it's, it's necessary. Uh, we will be migrating everything to, to latest and greatest UT. Uh, yeah, this is one of the problems of Sailfish OS. For a long time, they are staying with UT 5.6. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really old. And we want to use the, the, the latest and greatest. Uh, so this, this is one of our targets, de definitely. We would like to refresh UI. This is a screenshot of, of our Figma. Uh, so we have some, some drafts of, of new UI. Uh, and we are migrating to some standard components. Uh, well, the, the Nemo Mobile started with uh, Migo, actually, like 15 years ago, maybe. I don't know. Uh, and uh, um, then came uh, Yola. They uh, made that project Mer project, which means uh, Migo resurrected, and uh, all the components was developed there. We was using them, uh, and it was working. Sailfish OS was using them, and they was developing them. They they still do that, uh, but they have own forks, and we would like to go back to upstream because uh, yeah, we would like to be as close as possible to upstream. And um, yeah, uh, I am actually here to ask you to help me to fix bugs for me because I want the device working with the system working with device. I want to use it as daily driver, it's not possible. Uh, you can contribute in many ways, but I would appreciate patches mostly. Uh, currently, we are a team of, let's say, two and a half de developers. And, uh, well, it's not our day job. So we are doing that at weekends, at evenings, and uh, it's going slowly. So if you contribute, I will be happy, and I, I can buy you beer or something. <laughs> And that's it. So if you have some questions, I will try to answer them. Um, we can try it. So I have uh, this kind of KVM virtual machine, and uh, yeah, I can develop settings like that. Um, we have pretty much the same user experience like uh, Sail Sailfish OS have, so it's controlled by gestures. Uh, everything is the QT. Uh, well, it's installed on top of Manjaro with all the XFC applications, and uh, yeah, it was possible to to log in to XFC and develop Glacier applications. Uh, well, the Glacier is the name of UI components we are using, uh, and uh, yeah, this is our calendar application. It needs a lot of love, <laughs> but I was at least able to, to import a um, conference calendar into it. Um, I'm able to import contacts, so, so when the uh, telephony works, I have also contacts and uh, I, can, I can simply use it. Uh, yeah, the text messages works somehow, so it's based on telepathy framework. And uh, there is uh, the telepathy ring extension. And there were some issues, if I remember correctly. Um, well, there are a lot of bugs. <laughs> OK, so 
if you no have no questions, then thank you very much, and I will happy to answer your questions later. Thank you.